Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and at the end of the last video I lied. I said like, oh I'm not going to do the forest temple. Well look where we are. This room kind of reminds me think of Metroid or the Rem. Um, just like that, <laughs> like when you're like going through and you see like those dinosaurs on either side or whatever. I wish you could like go through the glass and actually see the dinosaurs. And what have we got here? This is kind of like the um, Arbiter's Grounds and Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess is a game I haven't played in a while actually either. Which is why like seeing this is kind of making... There are like a couple of things in this game as well that, that, that like remind me of Wind Waker when I, when I see them. And it's like actually it should be the other way around that Wind Waker reminds you of this game. But because Wind Waker is the game I know better, um, I always get reminded of Wind Waker when I see them in this game. Because I forget about them in this game. And where's the skull to the... There you are. I see you there, matey. Skulltulas and this are pretty easy to remember. There's like, we've got two of them already, and then there's like one in each of the confusing rooms. I told you the last time that this game, that this temple like confuses me. And... And it's mostly because of like, um... It's mostly because of... Wait, no, we're not there yet. Hello? Well, not because of these guys, they're confusing enough. But, like, I swear, like, Deku Nuts are the most broken things in this game. I swear. I'm pretty sure they didn't, like, intend for them to be as, like, broken as they are. But they're pretty much, like, this game's equivalent of the, um... Excuse me. Excuse me! They're pretty much this game's equivalent of the, uh of the boomerang, except not as broken. The boomerang in, in Wind Waker is just obscene. But I, I feel like I have this, I have the feeling, like I always think when I, when I play this game, because I use the, um, Deku Nuts quite a lot, and we already have a fairy, I think we're going to be good. We have a fairy, we have two servings of milk. Lovely, creamy, rich Lon Lon milk from those well cared for Lon Lon cows. You're you're just had your you had your back on me. You didn't even see this come up. But yeah, if you like know how to use the hook shot and the Deku nuts properly, this game like doesn't like enemies that should be more difficult than they are aren't really as difficult at all. I don't know like what other way I can explain it. That's not the way we can go. This see, it's already starting. It's starting to confuse me. It's apt to confuse me, cause it's such an unusual sight. I can't get used to something so right. That's like one of my favorite songs of all time. Something so right by um Paul Simon. It's just a fantastic song. I love it so much. Annie Lennox's cover of it on Medusa is really good as well. Like she completely changed the. F not the folks of the song, but the... Hello. I see you there, Mr. Octopus. Hello. Yeah, you didn't like that, did you? But yeah, it's because of these rooms. Like, see this outside room we're in now? Like, it just confuses me. Navi, do you want to target Skulltool is there? It just confuses me to no end, I swear. Can I not reach you? Do I need, like, arrows to hit you? See, look, that's the thing, like, I'm going to... If I try and hit him... I'm going to end up, like, hitting the wall and grappling my... Hitting the wall and grappling myself on and hitting him by accident, which I do not want to do. There is a gold skull tulla in here, it's just a matter of finding him. But yeah, it's this room. Between like this room and the other room, there's like another outdoor room that looks like really like this. I just get confused by everything. Because just this room and the other one between the two of them, I just get royally confused. I'm pretty sure we can't get the Skulltula yet, We're, we actually have to... 
get past that other Skulltulla the old-fashioned way, because there's no other way it's gonna work. But this is actually really beautiful, like, the, the Forest Temple is one of the most more beautiful temples in the game, like, it's one of the more pretty ones, do that kind of way. Now, Skulltullas, their eyesight is based on movement. It's like, if you don't move, then he can't see you. Not like those raptors. Not like those raptors, because with raptors, you look at him, they look right back. And that's when the attack comes, not from the front, but from the side. From the other two raptors, you don't even know we're there. I'm so sorry, I saw like the, the, the trailer for Jurassic World, otherwise known as Jurassic Park 4, and I am completely psyched for that. You guys know that I love Jurassic Park. Um, like, I love the first Jurassic Park to bits, and, like, I'm one of those fans who can even like the second and third one, like, just for, the, like, on their own merits, like, they're nowhere near as accomplished as the first one, but they're still, like, enjoyable films, do that kind of way, now what do we got here? See, look, is this, like, the same room we were just in, or is it a different one? See, this is what confuses me. Got to take care of these guys now. Shot targets here. See, this is like. I don't know, like, see, this is where it all goes wrong, because I just get completely confused by these two rooms. They completely throw me, throw me off, because, like. Like, if you ask me, like, which one of these rooms I'm in right now, I would not be able to tell you. I have no idea. If you ask me, like, where the gold skull tullers are in each of these rooms, because I'm pretty sure they're in these rooms, I couldn't tell you. I can't believe, like, that didn't... I can't believe that didn't hurt me. Like, I fell off that, um... I wonder what the hookshot does to these guys. Oh, well, that's handy. I'm telling you, it's like the hookshot is like the boomerang of this game. Hookshot and Deku Nuts. With, like, if you if you use them, you're gonna go far. There's the bugger. I see you there. The question is, would I be able to... Excuse me, Link. The question is, will I be able to reach him? I'm pretty sure if you can hear them, you can reach them. Uh, I'm not really sure that's true, but it looks like... Do you know what I might be able to do? I wonder if I could use, like, the Scarecrow song to get up there. I'm gonna do it. I'm totally gonna do it. What was it again? Do we have to, like, go back to them to actually get the Scarecrow song? Because that is definitely my Scarecrow song. That's my jam. I'm pretty sure I just can't reach him yet because he's too far away. Because the hookshot in this, like, on, because of the fact that the long shot exists, the hookshot is pretty crappy. Like, as far as the distance you get out of it is concerned. Yeah, look, I, I jumped off the top of that thing and I didn't get hurt at all. And then I jumped down this piddly little distance, down here into this, this like, underwater way. And I get banged on the bing bong. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Now, aren't, aren't you a key as well? There are lots of keys in here. We haven't even used any of them yet. We've got three keys. That's probably because I'm doing this all our ways. But you know what? Who cares? <laughs> I don't even know. Like, I wish I had the compass so that... See, this is the room we were in first. This is Courtyard 1, where you are first. Because Courtyard 2 is like a different... is like the one where we were. And look, you can even see the sky and it's daytime. It's just like, I love this temple. It's really like this old medieval castle sort of atmosphere, which is just so cool. Excuse me, you can't hit me twice. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm not so smart now, are you? Yeah, give me those Deku Nuts, I love them. I'm so happy with my increased Deku Nut capacity. Nothing makes me happier than an increased Deku Nut capacity. Oh, wait a second, where- See, I'm not even sure we're going the right way. I'm not even sure where we are. Isn't that where we came- That's either where we came in or where we've already been, so there's... Yeah, Navi, I get you, I get you, don't worry. 
over here. Here's a way we can go that we haven't gone yet. And there's a locked door. Okay, well, look. We have three keys. There's not much that can go wrong. Said he before everything went wrong. Hello there. These guys are pretty good for dropping hearts as well, these big skull tullers. Except not him, apparently. I far prefer hitting them with the bow and arrow, though. Hitting them with the bow and arrow is just so fun, because it just, like, fires them halfway across the room. I'm telling you, like, the hook shot is just, like... Like, they're, like... I don't know, like, uh, it's... Uh, I always seem to have these... Oh, this is that, the puzzle room. This is a... I can hear you. you I could hear a bubble there. Or a Stalfos head, as we should na as we should call them, because Navi is just like Navi doesn't know her arse from her elbow. Apparently, we have determined. Hello, Navi. There are arrows painted on the floor. Well spotted. Good luck, hand. I remember when I was in Freiburg in, in Germany and went into this bar. Um. <laughs> And there was like no one in there, so I was like, I went, I went up to the bar and I was like, I got like a drink, and I was like talking to the barman, and I was like, oh, it's pretty quiet, and he was just like, yeah, well, no shit, like good I can't. And it was just like, okay. it was so funny. What's over here if I go over here? Don't like get too experimental now. Yeah, I see you're, you're, you're jumping the gun. See the way there's like those moons on these rocks? I'm pretty sure in other copies of the game there aren't moons on the rocks. Like there are just like faces on the rocks. Like the faces you see in the spirit temple. Um, but like in my game there are faces on the rocks. I am not sure whether that means because I know what that means because I know like there are copies of the game where the music in the fire temple is different. And maybe this time, maybe like now, since I'm actually playing this game with headphones on, I'll actually notice, but I never really notice it. Cause, well, it's not that I've played like loads of different copies of the game either, I've only ever played this one. But I don't know whether my copy of the game is one of those copies of the games because of the fact it has these like moons on the rocks, because I know they changed that. I suppose the big test is like, I cannot remember for the life of me if when I get the mirror shield, if that also has like the um. If that also has, like, the moon on it instead of the, uh... If that also is different. Because I know that's another difference that is in, like, those copies of the game. Now where do I go? I am confused. I can't pull this out any farther. Can I, like, hookshot up something? Well, no, if you could hookshot it, it would defeat the whole purpose of pulling the block, wouldn't it, dingus? Is there, like, anywhere I can go here? At least the music is cool. I don't know, the Forest Temple is just one of the cooler temples. It's really, really something. I am confused now. I really am. I have no idea where I'm going. Can I, like, go up here? This looks like somewhere where you could go. <laughs> Pretty sure this is right. This is kind of one of those rooms there's only one way to do it, so once you start it, you kind of just have to keep going until you get it right, kind of a thing. There's nothing to do here. I'm pretty sure if you actually do do that, it doesn't even help you that much, because all it does is make a chest with arrows appear or something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this would be, like, a nice way to round off this video, is just, like, doing this room, because, like... How many minutes are we up to now? 14? Yeah, we'll be able to do it. We'll be able to get that done. I can go for that. But yeah, like, this room, like, it, it's confusing. Like, if you if you actually were to tell, think of, like, all the steps that were involved, it's confusing. But you just have to remember, well, there's only one way to do it. It's like that room in, um, in Wind Waker with all the mirrors. There's only one way to do it, so just do it. You're not gonna wait. It takes a while, and there's, like, quite a bit of back and forth. But, as I say, you can't get it wrong, because there's only one way to do it. You, like, I'm, I'm go doing somewhat okay in the forest temple now, but wait till you see, things will, like, come a cropper at some stage, mark my words. I think we're, like, finished with this room now. 
the next part is like all we're already at the twisty part i did lie at the end of the last video i never explained that because i like to remember the last video i was like i am not like doing the get back here um remember in like the last video we were like in the last video I was like, I'm not doing the forest temple today. Well, I decided in the end, well, yeah, that I would do the forest temple on the last day, on, on the same day, so. Here we go. I'm pretty sure we did the right thing in that. Whoa, okay. I shouldn't have, like, opened that door. I meant to, like, finish the video. This corridor was all twisted. Guter can't. But yeah, um, I decided, oh yeah, I've got the time, I'll do it. This is a pretty cool angle. It's, like, all, like, cabinet of Dr. Caligari, kind of. Like, but yeah, or it's like in Beetlejuice, like that corridor, like that wiggity whack corridor where they go and like they see the bio exercised, but like, or the exercised, not the bio exercised. Anyway, thanks again for watching. We'll continue with Power Simple in the next part. Bye.